Hi guys, so my dryer is not heating up, so I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm gonna take the back panel off to see if I can figure out if it's the heating element or um, if it's anything else. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this off. I've already taken off the rings for the attachment. So I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna um, unscrew these screws to get the back panel off. So here we go. Oh, first, let me unplug it. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have all the screws out, move the backing. It's a mess back here. Basically, um, this is the thermostat fuse. So we're gonna take this off and then I'm going to order this part um, to see if that helps. So. What I'm having to do is take a flathead screwdriver because these are on here really tight. I already got this one off. So I'm gonna try to get this one off without hurting myself. <laughs> There you go. I'm gonna order this part um, to see if this is the problem. Um, and if this is not it, then I'm gonna have to get the heating element. So we shall see. Maybe I'll just order both parts just to be safe. I think this thing I had it. What you think? Okay. This little piece right here is crazy. Okay, so so far we've taken out the thermal cutoff. This came from here. Um, the thermal fuse that was here, and then this is the heating element, and it looks like this. So that's what we've done so far. We're gonna just replace all of these to see if this will help make the dryer get hot again. So now we just need to remove that piece. Okay. Okay, so I decided to replace all the parts um, that's related to heat and I got this whole package on Amazon, so I'll link that. But this is the heating element. These are the two fuses that's necessary and the two thermostats, so. Let's get started. I've already taken all of it off. So now it's time to replace everything. So here we go. So now we're replacing uh, one of the thermostat fuses. So it goes right over here. You just pop it in like this. And then line it up with the hole. And then we'll just screw that in. Took it there. So now we're gonna plug these wires back in. I think this one goes up top. This one goes on the bottom. Okay, awesome. So now this is the other fuse that we gotta put back on. It goes, that we have to replace. It actually goes here. Mm -hmm. 
put the screw in there like that. So now we're going to put these wires back on, like so. All right, so we've got that done. So we have the heating element and the thermostat. And so um, this is the new one, the thermostat, this is new. So it attaches to the heating element. So it um, goes on like this. And this piece goes in here. Yeah, you really have to jimmy it in there. And then press down on here. So we got the thermostat on, and so we're gonna put the heating element on. So here's the new thermal fuse we put, we have to put on. It goes right here. So, just need to attach the wires back. This one goes on the bottom. These two go here. Can I bend that? And then this one goes here. All right, so basically what we did was change out the thermal fuses. So this is a thermal fuse, this is a thermal fuse. This is a thermostat. This is a thermostat. And this is the heating element. So those are all the things that we changed out. And so now we're about to see if it really works. just putting the back back on let me just not screw it all the way until I can get these in you gotta go like this oh okay let's see squeeze these two pieces Now is the moment of truth. We'll see if all of my hard work paid off. So let's see. Let it run for a couple seconds. 